Welcome for another installment of core training with little old me. It's a wonderful little uh, trippy picture we've got in the background. Uh, it feels like you're like this and you're looking up at the ceiling and there's three big skyscrapers above your head, right? Quite trippy. Uh, another way of seeing it is maybe somewhere in space and this is like a satellite or whatever. Uh, kind of cool because the first exercise that we will be doing is leg raises. <laughs> so you will be lying down on the floor. Um, you will require any kind of object on the floor. It can be a block. It can be, uh, uh, I don't know, a book, a ball. It can be anything really, uh, as long as it's some kind of object that gives you an idea that legs are going side to side, okay? You're not lowering the legs forward, you're lowering the legs side to side. And the way we're going to do this is there's three rounds in total. Again, I'm gonna try and talk less and act more, right? Uh, so we can fit everything in. There's going to be three rounds. Each round is going to take us a minute and a half. Minute and a half work followed by about 30 seconds of rest before we start up again. So endurance is going to be important. Now, a lot of people are struggling with the, the, their endurance. So we're trying to build it up little by little. Um, yeah, the exercise is. Uh, so we're lying down on the floor. See, arms alongside the body, the hands pressed against the floor, they help me here. And the task is, so I have my block here in the middle. Okay, I'm lifting my legs up and I'm bringing my legs on the other side of the block. Obviously, I've brought my feet on the floor now. Uh, try and keep your legs off the floor. So the legs will come up, down to the side, come up, down to the side, come up, down to the side. Try to keep your legs straight if you can. One minute and a half, starting in three, two, one. Let's go. Steady pace. Notice if your lower back peels up off the floor quite a bit here. Of course, depends a little on how tired you are. In my personal case, I did something really, really challenging yesterday. And so my back is very, very sore. My core is quite sore today. Right now, I'm taking it easy. Keep going, everyone. As always, we're not training the core to have a six pack, a visible six pack. That is, you do that through nutrition, through putting the fork down, calories in, calories out, as they say. We train the core to have a strong core. is just trying to set our priorities. Keep going everyone, and done. All right, we rest, 30 seconds, reset, and do the same thing again. After the three rounds are completed, we're going to do uh, Cobra lifts, uh, Superman, Superwoman, whatever you want to call it. There's different names. The exercise is essentially the same. It's hyperextension of the back, right? We don't have uh, any space underneath us. We're on the floor, but we're taking different variations to try and target different uh, back muscles at slightly different angles. And for that, what we'll do is we'll work again. Uh, one minute non-stop rest, one minute non-stop rest for a total of four rounds. All right, guys, let's get ready. Three, two, one, let's go. Same exercise, legs go side to side. One minute and a half. 
having a slight bend in the knees. Ah, oh, yes, it's acceptable. A little bit easier. Okay, so if you're really tired, uh, you can do that. As always, there's a million different ways of scaling the exercise. Make it harder, make it easier. Again, you know, I don't see exactly everyone who is um, joining me for these online classes. It's a great tool uh, to keep you motivated in your training, especially if, you know, you're still on lockdown. It's a great tool to, uh, to keep going, to stay fit. Right, but again, we are all different. We have different goals. Limitations and capabilities. Everybody, rest. Minute and a half. Not minute and a half, I'm sorry. 30 seconds. Core control is, um, you know, problematic for a lot of people. Uh, Partially because very often we have extra layers of fat in that part of the body That we need to get rid of first well we need to get rid of not first, but we need to get rid of them uh, Two sedentary lifestyle Always seated in front of the computer uh, Not enough walking not enough movement uh, Yeah Lots of factors why core musculature is weak. All right, guys, three to one. Let's go. Same exercise. Legs go side to side. <sighs> Having a strong core, uh, very important. <sighs> because then transition of energy from the ground through the legs and into the upper body and backwards becomes easier. That's why in Chinese medicine, the Dantian core, such an important part of the body. Uh, Shaolin master uh, martial arts, and they focus a lot on their core training. Uh, likewise in yoga, Manipura chakra plays a very important role. I mean, Manipura is uh, more on a subtle level, yeah. But still, midsection plays a very, very important role in our system. Last round, 20 seconds more. Keep going, everyone. because we're sending the legs side to side here. Uh, our oblique muscles are also working. Keep going, everyone. Two, one, done. I'm resetting the timer to one minute. Everyone rest up for now, and then I'll explain what we're doing next. So, uh, flip to your tummy, please. Like I said, one minute long rounds with 30 seconds of rest in between. Variations of Superman move. Supergirl, superwoman, super lady, super boy, super teenager. Um, variation number one, slightly harder. The forehead is on the floor and the hands are behind your head. Okay, hands are behind your head. You can try and keep your legs together. It makes it harder because then the adductor muscles are working a little bit extra. 
but then again you have a greater opportunity to squeeze your glutes so variation number one with the hands behind the head we come up pause come down again choose a pace that you can work with come up pause come down come up pause come down this is one minute second minute we take same move slightly different variation arms are alongside the body and uh, the palms point up reason being here we want to come up externally rotate the shoulders feel the squeeze of the back muscles then release down uh, come up squeeze come down okay so and we're doing four minutes total starting in three two one everyone hands behind your head begin Come down, rest. Set up for the second round with arms alongside the body. We have four minutes to the end of the class. Just enough time to do the four rounds. For once, we can do everything that I initially planned. <laughs> All right, let's get ready, everyone. Face down, forehead on the floor, arms alongside the body. Three, two, one. See if you can keep your legs together here. Come up, pause, down. Come up, pause, feel the squeeze of the back muscles. Come down, keep going. Come up, down, come up down come up down come up come down keep going here our hamstrings will be working also Lifting the legs up off the floor. Keep going. Down. We rest 30 seconds. Oh, some peaceful music together with core training. <laughs> If you think this was not sufficient in terms of core training, then mm, there are already a few other um, core training classes available on demand on the Sadhana Live platform. Pick one, do it. Pick two, do them. Pick three, do them. Or once this particular session becomes available on demand, which should be fairly soon, right? You can rewind and do it again. But then again, it's very, very simple. Some leg raises, side to side leg raises, plus some uh, hyper extensions. All right, everybody, hands behind the head. Three, two, one. Let's go. Coming up. Down. Up. Down. Keep going.
if you like you can come up pause come down All right we have static holds in yoga that we are holding for you know five breaths four breaths ten breaths so uh, throughout the minute if you would like to introduce some static holds be my guest no problem Keep going. Done. 30 seconds rest. And we have one more round. One more round with the arms alongside the body. After that, we finish. A little cold outside, but still we get some sunshine still. Sunshine's always good, extra vitamin D. Now the whole reason of doing Surya Namaskara <laughs> early in the morning and sunrise. You, know, you would face the sun and your face, your palms, the body, front of the body, back of the body, and would be charged up with uh, beautiful energy of the sun. All right, three, two, one, everyone. Begin, arms alongside the body, rise up, come down. Rise up, feel the squeeze of the back muscles, come down. Rise up, come down. Rise up, pause, come down. Keep going. Keep going. And done. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. If you're if you've done all three classes with me, you're amazing. <laughs> thank you very much. I will be back Tuesday. I am covering for Michael uh, five o'clock and then six until six forty five or six thirty something along those lines have a look on the schedule i will be here tuesday evening join me thank you so much bye